absolutely beautiful evening, uh, stunning, stunning sunset uh, in the Helderberg. And uh, I've just stopped here just to enjoy the last few minutes of sunlight uh, before the sun sets. Just absolutely stunning. So one of the questions I get asked from time to time is uh, the question uh, about the mission of the church. What is uh, the mission of the church? What should churches be and what should they do? Now this is actually a very interesting question and um, at the heart of the question is uh, certainly my understanding of it is the notion of what we believe the church to be. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago a friend of mine came to a teacher class at Stellenbosch University uh, for, for some of my master's students and uh, one of the students in the class asked him so where is your church? They were obviously wanting a, an answer that spoke of a geographical location and his answer to the student was to look at his watch and to say well it's 2 p.m. I guess they're at work. Now that's a very interesting understanding of the church because it accords quite well with the concept that we find in the New Testament. Um, in the Gospel of Matthew uh, the church is called the Ecclesia uh, the called out ones, uh, the gathered sort of community. Uh, it's a group of people rather than a place or a time. Now the other interesting thing that I think we need to hold on to in terms of the church is that the church has a very clear mission. It has something which it's intended to do. Now obviously part of that mission is to glorify and honor God who is the author of the church. But the church is the body of Christ has a particular mission as well. My understanding of this is shaped particularly by the theology of the South African missiologist David Bosch in his book Transforming Mission. I'll put a link in the, in the description notes below. But David Bosch uh, made it clear that the mission of the church is to fulfill the work that Jesus did. It's to be part of what he calls the Missio Dei. Now the concept of the Missio Dei I think is something which is un misunderstood. People often think that word Missio means mission. When in fact, the, the Latin word missio means work. And when we think about the work of the church, we are talking about the missio day, which is the work of God. So the work of the church is to continue to do on earth the work which God himself does. Now, in order to understand uh, the kind of work that uh, God does in the world, we need to look at the person of God, particularly at the, at the incarnation of God, uh, Jesus Christ, and ask ourselves, what was it that Jesus came to do? Often when I speak at uh, churches, I ask them, what was it that Jesus came to do? What did Jesus come for? And the most common answer that I get from people is they say that Jesus came to forgive our sins. Now, of course, that answer is not wrong. Jesus did come to free us from sin and from death. But there's a, another reason why Jesus actually came. And we read about it in Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. Uh, that whole section uh, of Jesus sort of commissioning from the temple. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach good news to the, to the poor, recovery of sight to the blind, the year of the Lord's favor and freedom to the captives. These are all things that have a very sort of political, a social element to them. They have to do with the, what John Howard Yoder would call the politics of Jesus, the polis. Uh, meaning the rule of Christ. Now, the work of Jesus, if we think about it, in Luke chapter 4, verse 43, we read this, is very particular. Jesus says, I must preach the good news of the kingdom in other towns also, because that is why I was sent. So why was Jesus sent? Well, he gives us the answer there that he was sent to establish the kingdom of God, what in the New Testament is called the Basilea to Theu. The Greek uh, Basilea means not just the place, the kingdom as a place, but the rule of God on the earth, where God's justice and mercy reigns, where God's uh, inclusive love is the norm in society. And so I think that the work of the church is to be involved in the kind of things that Jesus did to work on the margins of society, to include those who are excluded, to work for justice, to develop a voice for those whose voices are not heard, and uh, to give opportunity for every person to reach their fullest potential, true salvation, to be free from the shackles of sin, 
And I don't know about you, but sometimes for me, some of the things that cause me to sin most, and sin in the sense not only of moral sins, but also sin as fear, as brokenness, as imperfection, some of the things that cause me to sin most are things that have to do with politics and economics and gender abuse, all of the things that rob us of being fully human. So today I want to invite you to think a little bit about what it may mean to be truly church. I often invite congregations and uh, say to them, look at your church, listen to its voice, its messaging and its sermons, uh, in your architecture, in your news bulletins, and, and ask yourself, does this sound like the voice of Jesus? Is this the kind of thing that Jesus would have said? Look at the people who are in your church and ask yourself, are these the kind of people who Jesus welcomed? So remember, this is not a lecture. It's just a thought. I don't have the answers for you, but I want to invite you to think and pray and read about the theology of the church and particularly what it means to be part of the Missio Dei, the work of God in the world. So thanks for watching this vlog. It's been a wonderful joy to share this beautiful, beautiful sunset with you. And uh, I've got to make my way home now. And I want to invite you, subscribe to the blog, like it, share it uh, if it makes sense. Uh, and uh, hook up with me on Twitter at Digital Dion or Instagram. Follow me on Beam at Digital Dion. And uh, I'd love to hear feedback, comments, questions. So have a wonderful evening. Uh, I'm heading home to my family.